Hey buddy, welcome back to our channel. So it's really nice to see you again. Alright, so today is the second time to learn Korean language vowel. I will introduce four different vowels. O, Yo, U, U. And also I will introduce four different words that have O, Yo, U, U. Alright then, let's get started. Oi. First, o, oi, o, oi, cucumbers. Actually, my mom and my grandma really love to eat in cucumber when they on a hike. And in fact, actually, a lot of Korean love to eat in cucumber while on a hiking. But I don't really understand why they really love to eat cucumbers because I don't really like that texture and taste. You know, I don't really like it. So. Actually, the cucumbers are one of those foods that you either love or hate. So, actually, a lot of my friends love to give me cucumbers on my birthday, but I don't really like it. Toru. So, second, o toru, o toru, street. Actually, now. We are not allowed to visit foreign country because of COVID-19, but let's recall the time when you could travel abroad. Have you ever seen the street signal on Toru? Actually, I bet you have. I really love those performers. What about you guys? Uri. Third, O Uri. O Uri. Dog. Actually, many Korean love to eat dog to get that extra energy on the hot summer day. So, Korean can be quite brutal in summer, and you want to make sure that um, you're refueled after sweating. So, as dog is nutritious and delicious, so they eat dog. And also, the Chinese emperors also enjoy the dog. Because you know the dog is really good for health. So a lot of Korean when they go to Beijing, they usually eat dog, which is one of the luxury food of China. Kyosu. Fourth, yo kyosu, yo kyosu. Let's say you and I are studying in a university. And professors give us lectures along with the project assignments and tests. Those project assignments and tests can be quite annoying and time consuming, but we must do it to get that good grace. Yeah, I know it's so annoying. You too. Fifth, you, you too. You, you too. Yacht. Actually, I think no one would say no to enjoy their vacation on their personal yacht. But you know, I don't have that enough money to buy one. So I always just watch yacht on films and just imagine them myself. But yeah, so I just want to invite it by like rich friend. And you know, they hang out and chill at yacht. So in the future, I want to I wanna be on yacht, on crossing the oceans in Dubai or Singapore, you know. So invite me. You got to. Six. You, you got to. You, you got to. Actually, we've heard so many good things about the yogurt. They help you to lose your weight and they are really good for your health. So, I have been eating the Greek yogurt for three months, but you know, the plain yogurt is too boring. So I went to grocery store and got myself some um, sweet strawberry yogurt and I binged on them and ended up to get some weight. I, I need a diet. So anyway, um, there are various kinds of yogurt in Korea and actually my favorite one is drinking yogurt. What about you guys? Uyu. 
seven. U, uyu, u, uyu, milk. When I was really young, my mother used to tell me that um, I should drink milk all the time. So um, I had five cups of milk with some cereals every day. So, but now look at me now. Um, I'm actually over six feet. Yeah, I know it's not really tall, but I like now. So guys, if you want to be taller than now, drink milk and you guys will be taller than now. Eight, u kudu, u kudu, shoes. Actually, the exact meaning of shoes in Korean is the like formal shoes. So um, my parents got me the pair of shoes and suit when I turned 20. So I sometimes wear the shoes and suit when I have some party. So actually, I'm the one of the party people. So anyway, um, but those shoes don't fit me very well. So someday I want to go to Milan and got myself some handmade shoes. Usan. Ninth. U, Usan. U, Usan. Umbrella. Um, in some musical films, I've seen the cute couples dancing with umbrella in the rain. And if I remember the correctly, uh, the background music was like uh, sing in the rain, just sing in the rain. <laughs> I'm sorry. So anyway, um, it seemed so romantic and pretty, but you know, in real life, you and I both know that it's neither pretty or like romantic. So, I mean. Dancing in the pool raining. I don't like it. Yuri. Tense. You, Yuri. You, Yuri. Glass. In Korea, there is a, the best word that glass mentally. And it means people feel panicked when they're in like stressful situation. So people feel so fragile that Mm, they refer their weak minds as a glass. That's why we call it um, glass mentally. Have you ever had this similar experience? Actually, I have when I was in high school. But what I want to say is that um, if you have the glass mentally, don't worry so much and just tell yourself like, um, I got this, I got this and you will be get over it so guys be brave because you guys are stronger than your thought you mocha 11th you you mocha you you mocha stroller um we probably don't remember but when you're very young our parents put us on a stroller and took us everywhere so I sometimes look at my photos when I was really young and I think like, man, I was so dropped. And now I'm 22 years old. So I don't think I can go back to that lovely phase, but you know, it's okay. Cause I love myself now. Yu Chi Won. 12. You. Yu Chi Won, Yu, Yu Chi Won, Kindergarten. So everyone goes to kindergarten before entering primary school, but I don't remember much about my kindergarten years. But I still have some photos when I was in kindergarten, so um, I think I'm so similar to uh, myself, my, I mean, younger generation. So what about you guys? Do you think you've changed a lot or do you look so similar to yourself? I mean, your younger generation? So please comment on our video because I'd love to know it. All right, guys, so how was it? Was it easy to understand or a bit difficult? So actually me and my team are trying to pick the easiest words 
and we are also trying to find ways to make it easy for you guys to learn. So, please leave us some comments after this video. It will be huge help for us. So guys, you did a great job and see you next time.